Hi, I'm Dr. Rick Rada, the director of the Morton J. Kent Habilitation Center in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We're a nonprofit community-based organization provider agency that supports individuals across the lifespan with intellectual and developmental disabilities. One of my responsibilities as the director of the Habilitation Center is to create educational and innovative programs for the direct support professionals, as well as for the individuals that they serve and support. One of the problems that we are having with COVID is that it has shifted the concentration of our energies from the creation of innovative programs to basically status quo health programs to maintain the integrity of individuals living in group homes along with the direct support professionals. In addition to that, I'm also the national medical advisor to the NADSP, the National Alliance for Direct Support Professionals. That is the national professional organization that promotes the integrity, professionalism, and status of the direct support professionals. Currently, there are probably 1.5 million direct support professionals living and working in a variety of settings across the United States. Again, my responsibility is to promote the educational content to help the direct support professionals be the adjunct and basically be the linchpin between healthcare professionals advice and basically the actual actualization of it in the group homes. Again, we have basically gone and shifted from basically creating programs to identify the unique novel subtle chances of basically explaining the healthcare status of the individuals to healthcare providers whether or not it's psychological, whether or not it's emotional, whether or not it's sensory, whether or not it's medication administration, whether or not it's environmental, to basically protecting individuals from the COVID for as long as we can. And this has shifted in the concentration. We're still working on that, and we still are looking forward to going back to that as our major uh, concentration. But for the time being, we are advocating all the CDC protective guidelines of um, social distancing, face mask protection, shielding, gloves, um, hand washing, et cetera. One of the problems is convincing individuals why and giving them a rationale for why their, um, their lives have been disrupted. Very, very difficult to explain this concept of a virus to individuals with low cognitive abilities. Um, and yet basically they are intuitively understanding that a lot of their rights and a lot of their privileges and a lot of the things that they enjoy in life have been discarded and be basically derailed. Um, and so they're reacting like you and I would react if we felt that we were being punished irresponsibly or inappropriately. And we're starting to see microaggression. We're starting to see, um, we're starting to see isolation, anxiety, sleep disorders, bowel changes, um, and, and depression. And that's not just with the individuals that we support, but we're actually starting to see some of that with the DSPs. And that's an appropriate reaction to what we can only call these crazy and abnormal times. And we're all hoping that um, possibly with the um, advent and the distribution of the vaccine and basically our individuals and our DSPs are going to be tier one receipt, recipients of these um, of vaccines that hopefully we will get back to some semblance of normalcy.